Well, time to take a look at Moby Housekeeper. A game where we rob from the rich to save the poor. And yeah, I'm sure the people that make Final Fantasy love the people that, that made that logo, right? You just know it sits well with them. Yeah, I know I'm being sarcastic. I imagine most uh, actual developers for uh, Square Enix would really hate seeing a chocobo used on anything that isn't theirs. And this just sounds awful. Oh man. Take it away. Far, far away. Well now. Let's uh begin the game, I suppose. That long tail looks really weird. The Angel Dragon presents. Gosh darn, this song is so familiar. Where have I heard this before? Ugh. Gosh darn it. It's been too long, man. It's, it's familiar, but I can't place it right now. I want to say the land before time for some reason. But I'm probably wrong. Like, really, really wrong. Well, no. Jeez. Okay. What on earth is that? Just phasing through buildings there? That is so weird, man. Yes, yes, and I will decrease taxes. Christmas event in this year will be just perfect. Nobody will leave unsatisfied, at least almost nobody. What have you just said, Mayor Fan? Oh, nothing. I'll just show what a great kind mayor I am. I have directed a memorial to myself made of pure gold. Here it is. I'm quite proud of it. I wouldn't be. Mayor Fan, where have you managed to acquire money for that? Recently you said they were having some financial difficulties. Well, if I said such a thing, everything is fine. Our affairs are going better than any time before. Ah, uh, people are leaving the crowd, right? Because, like, no one believes that. That's such obvious shenanigans. Well, now. What's going on in here? Oh man, the double fake out to the fade in? Why? I guess there's only one fake out, but. Jeez. Feels like chaos incarnate in here, man. Come on! When it gets to the part of the game where I have control, man. This is taking way longer than it should. Well, Miss Vanda is back. We really have to have a sound effect for them whipping their heads around. Run for it! Yeah. What are they running for? Like seriously, what's the hurry? What did they do? Oh man, this is gonna get this video blocked, man. You know how it goes when they start playing, you know, songs like this. Jeez. Can I please just play? Gosh darn it. I want to just play a game. Is it that hard? Too much cutscene. Way too much cutscene. It's still going on. Stop cutscene. Let me do something! Seriously. And do we have to listen to this entire song? Like, it's just asking to get the video blocked on YouTube. Much to my annoyance. Yeah, I know who that is. We saw him on the title screen. You didn't have to ex give him a name. Oh, jeez, it's getting louder. 
I can only imagine this to be if I had that full volume. Because I turned the volume of this uh, game down to 30%. And this still feels loud to me. It's like, just make it stop. Like, like, come on, I just want to play a game. I know I'm getting impatient, but this cutscene isn't telling me anything I really need to know now, is it? Like... Like, that's just a tape. Eh, it's all gone. Yeah, Moby steals from people. Got it. Uh, steals a lot, too. Where are our plates? Here are a minute ago. What is that? What's what? The missing plates? Where'd they go? Who knows? Come on. And why am I supposed to like a guy that steals from orphans? Last one's a rotten egg. He said some trip wires, huh? Nice guy. Really. Yeah, I like to have fun too. But the game won't let me have fun. Gosh darn it. What, trying to get divinely inspired there? Come on. Let me do something. Ah. <sighs> Mar New York, an orphanage at Madison Street with kids and adults resided a little imp named Moby. Who does not let you play his game, as he likes to talk and do cutscenes. Yes, he lived in this big house in the basement since he didn't want to be seen. He had to stay hidden, run fast, and crawl through ventilation. He looked like cute little purple imp and in fact wasn't that cute he just loved the prank kids of this orphanage in many many ways and he was good at he was not a good person yeah I could tell that already thanks I mean I could, sorry I came with the territory being an imp right yes his pranks were not of a funny kind but of a mean kind to kids at least his life was in general a little paradise of his own until that happened. Oh, when he comes to the construction crew? To wreck his house? Oh, come on. Still doing cutscenes? Jeez. Now we're hanging outside, we're gonna be seen from the street, huh? So, have you gathered it? Mr. Mayor, I don't know that such a sum in such a short time. That's your problem. In that case, you'll be evicted from this building. But Mayor, they're children. They're just a bunch of useless brats to me. If you don't get the money by tomorrow, you're all evicted. All of you. But, no buts, you've heard me. Pretty funny, right, for Xmas? Man, I thought Moby was a dick. Yes, this house required an overall long ago. I'm starting to see things. He'll make a good restaurant. Mr. Fan, you can't. You should have paid your rent in time. Hope you'll get the money. Not... And who evicts people on Christmas of all days? Seriously. I guess he's Scrooge, man. What should we do? Well, now. Why can't I just scroll the camera still? I guess I'm working as an invisible character. Living in the restaurant. With... A lot of people there, no kids to prank. He didn't want to lose his home. There's some thinking. He made a decision. If the owners of this place are unable to find money for the rent, he'll do it himself. And since money didn't just grow on a bush, on bushes, he'll have to get them in his usual way. Steal them from someone who doesn't mind. And that's why Moby put together a brilliant and carefully drawn plan of actions. 
Man, so much English, man. My plan, okay. It's a very vague map of the city with Moby scribbled for you, but still. Move around with the arrow keys and press enter for confirmation. Okay. Well, let's get started, I guess. Gotta rob every house, right? Warning. Well, no. Okay. Okay, if hit in the dark, I guess. You gonna leave, man? Kind of busy here. Okay. Well, no. Ah, someone's coming again. Oh, I'm hiding in the shadows. He still saw me. Oh, we're dead. Okay. That's brutal. Okay. Let's just let me instantly start back from the game menu. That was gosh darn fast. Jeez. Okay. Hide behind the sofa, I guess. I mean, we hid in the shadows, but apparently it didn't count. You wanna leave, man? I guess we still have two lives left because of reasons. And those freaking spots to interact with are really small. Okay, hiding back underneath the sofa here. So basically it's a game of grab a few things and head right back to base. Ah oh, man. That's gonna take a long time. Oh crap, he's coming back. Is there anything else in this room to grab? Like I said, the freaking grab points are really tiny. If you blow the screen up. It's not the best look, man. Okay. He's gotta be coming again soon. What am I supposed to do here? Have I found everything or what? Like, that's really the question at this point. Like, seriously? Oh, there's one on the TV. Got it. I guess it's not a TV stand. I don't know what it is. Maybe a bar? You wanna leave, man, so I can go back to what I was doing? Okay. Hide back in here. Sometimes the shadows don't count, though, as we've established. Like, seriously, is there anything else even left to grab here? Why does he keep coming back in here anyway? At any rate... Seriously, what else is there to grab? Is there something on that chair I missed? You wanna leave, man? Okay... Okay, get back in the shadows. Gosh darn it! It's, it's not clear where my targets are all at. Jeez. Brighter sparkles would have been really good, man. Oh, those, yeah. Maybe I can steal the money on the table? Makes sense, I guess. But one would think diamonds would be worth more money. 
Come on, get out of this room, man. And that's that room. Okay. Okay, can I save? <laughs>